exact value of trigonometric expressions. In this video, I'll explain you how to find the exact value of trigonometric expressions, especially when the angles are negative. Negative means that we are moving in clockwise direction, correct? So the question here is, evaluate exact value of each of the following, tan of minus 13 pi by 6, cos of minus 14 pi by 3. So for that, what do we need? First, we need to figure out in which quadrant we will be. And then we have to find the related acute angle. And thirdly, we have to use our special triangle to get the exact value. Correct? Now, first step, let's figure out in which quadrant we land. Minus, that means we are moving in which direction? Clockwise direction, right? So minus means you're moving in clockwise direction. Pi by 6. So we'll divide this pi into 6 portions. That is what it means when we say pi by 6. So 6 means 3 of each, right? So, so that is how we are going to divide, correct? 3 of each, correct? This is approximate but fairly accurate. So that is this pi has been divided into 6 and the other pi also 6. So there are 12 in all, correct? When we say 13 pi by 6 with a negative sign, so we'll move in clockwise direction. One full circle means 12 and one more means 13. So this is minus 13 pi by 6. With that, we know in which quadrant we have landed. This is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Apply the cost rule, right? C, A, S, T. We are looking for tan. In quadrant 4, cos is positive. All others are negative. Therefore, we should write down first the sign. Sign is negative. For this, tan negative 13 pi by 6. Now, what is the exact value? To find the exact value, we will use special triangle. So, let's sketch one special triangle. So, special triangle for us is here it is. We'll just sketch one here, right in the center, so that we can use it for both. In the special triangle, this angle is pi by 3, this is pi by 6, and this is pi by 2. And the lengths are 2, 1, and square root 3. Acute angle is this angle, which is pi by 6. So we are looking for pi by 6, that angle. Tan values, opposite over adjacent. That means 1 over square root 3. So we get 1 over square root 3. So that is the value of tan minus 13 pi by 6. I hope you got it. You can pause the video, write down the answer for cos minus 14 pi by 3 following this strategy. So first, remember, we have to move clockwise. Second, we have to figure out in which quadrant we are, which we can find by dividing, did you see pi by 3? Pi into 3 portions. 3 portions means like this. Do you see that? So 1, 2, and this is the third portion. Similarly here, 1, 2, and 3. Correct? So we get our pi divided into 3 portions. We are looking for minus 14 pi by 3. Minus means we'll move from here in clockwise direction, 14, right? So, 3 and 3 is 6, right? So, we'll go one full circle means 6 for us, another circle means 12, 13, 14. So, we'll end up here, which is minus 14 pi by 3 for us. Is that okay? So, ultimately, you land up in quadrant 3, right? Quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, this is quadrant 4. And you know from the cost rule, C, A, S, T, you're looking for cos. Cos is negative. Tan is positive here, so we get a negative value. Now, what is the acute angle or the reference angle? Reference angle is this angle, correct? This angle, which is pi by 3. So, let's find the value of cos pi by 3. Pi by 3, adjacent over hypotenuse, which is half. Sign is negative since we are in quadrant 3. I hope that makes things absolutely clear. Now you can 
see my other videos which are for positive angles in different combinations with this you should be in a position to always get the right exact value in the following videos we will have some complicated questions more than one trigonometric ratio and we'll try to figure out its exact value i hope you understood the concept thank you and all the best